Hey, it's Raj. Welcome to the channel where we talk all things photo, video, and tech. Today we're going to be talking about this accessory or these accessories for the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro. This comes to us from Moft. Special shout out to Moft for sending me this box here. It's a beautiful box and I was excited when I opened it. Now, even though they sent me the box, I'm at liberty to say my thoughts of truth to you of what I feel about this product. And as you know me, I like to spoil the ending is this is a good product. Because the fact of the matter is, I only want to review good products and good products that solve the problems for all of us. So this product right here, these products right here, come from Moth. Let's open the box. Okay, so what we'll see inside here, and it's really exciting, is we'll see this iPhone case right here. This iPhone case right here, it's a great case. It's made of vegan leather. And we'll just snap it on right here. And there we go. I love the way it feels. This has actually become my new primary phone case. It's my favorite phone case. And it has the Moth logo right there, very subtle to let you know what the credit is due for this great case. Okay, also inside, it comes with this lanyard and this lanyard attachment. But those aren't the rock stars of the show. The rock stars of the show are these two right here. The first one we're gonna talk about is the Moft Snap Phone Case Movas. Movas self-developed vegan leather case. So this is vegan leather as well. Both of these accessories right here go on by MagSafe. They're quick, they're small, and they're versatile. And I'm gonna show you why they're versatile. So how this works is I'm gonna pull from the top here, pull this down, and it unfolds into a phone stand. So you could have your phone like that. You could have your phone like that. Or you can use it in your hand like that. But not just is it a stand, it's also a wallet. You can slide that in there and slide this off. And now I have a wallet that I could just use and take with me. It's versatile. If I want it on my phone, I put it on there. If I don't need it, I don't need it. But it's a stand. It's a very versatile, very small footprint of a stand. The use case of something like this is that if I'm on a video conference call, I could have it set down and be ready to go or long way like that. It's very versatile and I don't have to carry anything with me. The thing that I'm terrible at is I pack a lot of stuff. I always pack tons of camera gear and I never use it, but a small stand like this, I could take with me anywhere. This can slide right into my everyday carry and it's a great thin, versatile product, very compact. So that is the Snap-on Movas phone stand and wallet. Okay, the one that I'm excited to talk to you about today is the Moft Invisible Tripod. This is a tripod, can you believe that? So I'm gonna bring back in the wallet stand here. So they're just about the same size right there. Not very scientific, but there you see it. But this one is cool. This one is for filmmakers, photographers. I'm talking to you. This is the one that you need. How many times do we carry even a small tripod in our bags with us, but we never use them or it takes up too much space because things add up. The more you add up in your carry-on case, in your carry-on, in your everyday carry, it adds up. So what if you had something like this that could serve a purpose? So the way this works is you attach it again through MagSafe. It goes on there. So then you grab the corner of the top here and you pull that down and you see that snap open and bam, you have a tripod. You can angle it up, you can angle it down. So use case for me is I could have it on my desk and I can look at it while I'm talking to somebody. So I could use my computer and also I could use this for video conferencing right over here or watch a sports game at the same time. Another thing that's really useful is because of its small form factor, if I'm holding items in my hand and I wanted to do a review on them, what I could do is I can angle it down, press record, and now you'll see like how close I am to the product. I could show you this here, and this here, and this here. And it's all because I could be that close to my camera. Or for anyone that wants to be entertained, you could do it this way and set it there and watch a movie or a show or sports, right? Because we all love sports. Go team. And last but not least is you can use it like the other one and use it really just as a small stand like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the tripod stand and what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna film myself over here in this beautiful scenic spot. You see how I just unfolded that here and I'm gonna turn it around like this. Then I'm gonna place this right here. I'm gonna use the camera app on my watch to monitor what I'm recording and there it is. So now I'm gonna go out here. When I'm in the spot that I need to be in, it looks good, looks pretty cinematic out here. I'll start recording. And you can do this with either photo or video, but it's a great way to capture footage and content of myself in this lightweight capacity. Okay, the next mode I wanna show you is vlogging mode. So what you do is you pull out the whole thing and it could actually bend backwards like that. 
I'll attach it on MagSafe, just like that. And now I can vlog myself holding that up. Give me some extra reach. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope that this season brings you many, many blessings. And also, I'm thankful for you. Thanks for being here, and thanks for supporting the channel. That is vlogging mode. Uh, let's see if, how it looks when I walk, though. So there's this kind of like uphill part right here. I'm gonna hold this out for a video test and just walk up it so you can see how stable the iPhone is. And as I'm holding my phone. Okay, then let's inception this thing. This is how it looks on the iPhone and this is how it looks as I'm holding it. Just want you to see like, how much do I need to hang on to it? I'm barely hanging on with my fingers here and capturing this good video, but my video I'm sure is shaky. So I need to grip it more like that. Okay, so this is pretty cool as well. Imagine that if you're walking with your friends or your family and you wanna get a photo of you as a group, but you don't wanna ask somebody for help, which is totally fine. Sometimes I ask strangers to take it, sometimes I don't, but half the time I'm too embarrassed. So I like, I try to take it myself and usually that's why I have a million selfies. But in this case is I'll fold out the tripod stand. I'll turn on photo mode, set it down on the ground, tilt it upwards, use the camera app on my phone and make sure that is rear facing for the one time lens. And as I go back, now I can get a photo. Oh, let's see, let's block the sun here. Make me backlit. And I can do the three second timer. And I can do a couple more. But that's a good way for you to get group photos without having to ask somebody for help. You can just do it yourself. Oh, it's untied. Poop. I mean, no poop. I just say poop because I had to tie them up. They seem to be coming untied a lot lately. Okay, arm fully extended, cinematic mode. I'm holding it the way I would be holding it. And then let's walk across this bridge here. That was fun, right? Okay, the other piece that I have here is this lanyard. And what I could do is, let me snap off the case real quick. I'm gonna put this attachment through here. It comes with 3M sticky, I don't have to attach it now but I will later. What I'll do is I'll put this through here and put my phone in there. And now what this does is this gives me these two little bumps on the bottom to where I could attach my lanyard to. Now I personally wouldn't, but realistically, I wouldn't wear my phone on a lanyard like this. But if I were gonna do it, it would be at a theme park. And what I would do is I would actually take this and use this wrist strap mount piece and use it when I'm on a roller coaster so I could film myself riding. There's no escape. Do not tell me the location of the secret base. But honestly, I think if you want to travel light and you know you're going to use your phone as a camera most of the time anyway, or you want to be able to see it, there's this lanyard that came with this awesome kit that I received here today. Okay, so my final thoughts on these are that like, yeah, they sent me the box and I get it. You may think that they're paying me to say this or anything, but they just sent me the box. I could say whatever I want. And I think that this is a premium product. I think this is a great product. And the problem that it solves for me is I'm no longer gonna carry the tripod around in my bag and with me anymore because I'm gonna carry this around with me in my bag. This is a mini tripod. I'm always, always, always taking photos and videos. Check out my Instagram, for example. Oh, oh, oh one last thing, one last thing. This blew my mind, is they said that their products that they designed are based on origami. Everything folds as if it is origami. This is a fun one right here because you could see the origami-ness about that. When they told me that, I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. So they don't only have um, iPhone pieces, but they also have desk pieces and also iPad pieces as well. And then another fun fact about these is you can stack them. So you could take the tripod and the wallet with you and take both of these things on your trips with you or whatever you do every single day. This is a great everyday carry right here. But yeah, if you wanna learn more about Moth, there's links in the description there. And if you found value in this video, please like, subscribe, share the video if you can. I really appreciate y'all doing that. So thanks for watching and have a good one. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a good one. Bye. Bye or peace. Peace.